talk about it. Okay. All right, we're going to talk about a little bit about the poison ivy and poison oak and things. Here's a couple of leaves. This is off a of jewelweed, and this is off of a wild morning glory type plant. But what we're looking at is how these veins join together at the same part of the stem. Poison ivy, poison oak will never have veins that come out together. If we look at this one here, you'll see that uh, we're going to have a vein here, staggers over to one here, staggers over to one here, 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 and they're going to stagger. And if you've got alternate like these, this is when you've got the leaves of three. If you're not sure, you can see this one real well because it's not covered in dew. Watch for the alternating patterns. If they come out together every time, you're safe. These are not doing that, so these are the ones you watch out for. I can grab it, but then it looks weird. Okay. I had somebody chew me out for that once because I was touching poison ivy and I'm leading people to do it. But like I say, you'll find all the different leaf patterns. There's seven different kinds of poison ivy subvarieties, mm -hmm. like this shape here, which you still find the alternate leaf veins. Let me look at that. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so, I better stay out of this stuff for for a while. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here's one of my favorite edibles, by the way. Here, see these nice blue flowers. This is a uh, spiderwort, and what we're going to eat on it is the stem down here. And if you ever do asparagus, it's the same kind of thing. We want it to be able to snap. This is getting a little big, but I would still take this. Now, it's going to be a little mucilages. It's a little slimy. Once you boil it, that goes away, and I would eat this. Um, like I said, I want to snap like I would with asparagus. This is older. But this part up here would still be good. We can boil and eat the flowers. The leaves are good to eat. This whole thing, just boil it up and eat it like you would asparagus. When they're smaller, it's easier to go with. But the way to identify spider wart, you see this one just snapped beautifully. This mm -hmm. would be one to be great to eat. And that's what you want. Now if you feel a need to, you can peel that outer fibrous off. This stuff is great once it's boiled. But this is how you identify spiderwort, is this flower. Hey, we got a hitchhiker. Okay. So if you ever get back to doing that um, yeah. pathfinder thing where you're yeah. going for edibles. That's one of them. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And that's our plant lesson for the day.